Octonauts and the Hippos. Shellington to Captain Barnacles. I'm heading up the river on my research mission. I can't wait to observe the nighttime behavior of the African river creatures. It is very exciting. Safe travels, Shellington. Uh, okay, Dashy, let's power down for the night. Already on it, Captain. Good night, Dashy. Good night, Peso. Night, Quasi. Night, Captain. to uh, HQ. Octonauts, who sounded the Octo Alert? It's Shellington. The alert's coming from the Guff E. Captain Barnacles to Shellington. It sounds like there's a wild animal in there with it. Shellington, do you read me? Quasi, Peso, to the Gup A. We're heading up the river to rescue Shellington. We're picking up a signal on the Gup Finder, Captain. Aye, it's the Gup E for sure. The Gup E should be right here. <sighs> Listen, it's the wild animal. And it's coming from over there. Quasi, <laughs> wait. This could be dangerous. We'll go together. <sighs> Quasi, Peso, what are you doing? What am I? It, oh, I must have fallen asleep while watching the nighttime creatures. <laughs> oh, well, next time, try not to fall asleep on the Octo Alert button. Huh? Oh, <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We're just glad you're all right. Now, let's head back home. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day, mateys. Sun is a shining, river's nice and peaceful. Um, maybe not so peaceful. <gasps> Turn back while you can! Some really scary guys up ahead. Hmm? What sort of scary guys? There's your answer, Captain. Crocs. They don't come any meaner and scarier. Yes, but the crocodiles seem to be minding their own business. You better beat it. Here they come. Shellington, over here. Something's coming. Hippos? Ha! That's what everyone's afraid of. Those scallywags look like nothing but big slow coaches. <laughs> Sleepy slow coaches. They're kind of sweet. They might look that way, but hippos can be very, very dangerous. Whoa! Yeah, I see what you mean. They're extremely protective of their territory in the river and do not like strangers. Those big teeth and crushing jaws could certainly do some damage to the gups. So how do we get past them? Very carefully. Follow my lead. Lucky for us, they're fast asleep after a long night of grazing on grass. I don't think so, matey. Not unless they're sleepwalking. Uh, sleep swimming. That's exactly what they're doing. Since hippos are so heavy, they sink to the bottom while asleep, and then float to the surface every now and then to breathe, and all without waking up. Let's try to keep it that way. Incoming from above, Captain. And another rising up from below. Hard left, Shellington. Oh. Now hard right. Uh. <laughs> Almost through the herd, Captain. Just a bit further and we're home free. Uh, uh, avoid contact, Shellington. Full rudder left. <gasps> nice, Hippo. There you go. Just a bad dream. No need to wake up. <sighs> this is not good. Come into our neighborhood. We don't lock that. Oh, wake me from my beauty sleep. I never like that. We're very sorry. Not as 
sorry as you're about to be. Yeah? I don't think this is a good time to talk it over with them. Back up, Shellington. And now turn nice and easy. Okay, let's move out. Slow and steady. Slow and steady isn't working so well, Captain. You're right. Full speed ahead! <laughs> Those have stopped chasing us. But why have they stopped? That's their territory. This isn't. And it's fairly certain that if we head back that way, they'll attack again. Then it's best we wait till they leave the river. <laughs> Those hippos can't stay there all day. Actually, they can, and often do. Really? But they must take a lunch break. No. Hippos are nocturnal feeders. They eat at night, in the jungle, but stay in or around the river all day. They do it to stay wet. A hippo's skin may look tough, but it's actually very sensitive to the sun. If it gets too dry and hot, it can be very uncomfortable. Then we should wait for nightfall when the hippos leave the river to eat. I don't think we can wait that long. The gups have taken a lot of damage. They may not be working by night time. But the hippos are right there, blocking our path. How will we get past them? Let me handle that, mateys. <laughs> Lazy? Oh, let's show him who's lazy, huh? Ah, over here! <laughs> it's not even a contest, you slow coaches! Keep them busy, Quasi. Shellington, follow me. Whiskers, these oversized scallywags are faster than I thought! Just about made it through, Captain. That big rock should be far enough outside the hippo's home territory. And that's where we said we'd meet up with Quasi. <gasps> Captain, I've lost my rudder. I can't move. We need a tow line. We're still in hippo territory. I can make one from bandages. Great, but you'd better do it fast. We've got company. <laughs> Two lines secure, Captain. Now let's get out of here. Quasi, do you read? I headed for our meeting up place, Captain. Really hope you'll be there. Oh, hope I'll be there. No escape now, yeah? At least maybe you can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, matey. Maybe sooner. <laughs> Better give a full throttle, Captain. Those hippos can move faster than they look. I'm so hot. The hippos have spent too much time in the hot sun. Their skin's all dried out. It looks really uncomfortable. We can't leave them like that. Agreed. Any ideas, Peso? I know a quick and easy remedy for hot, dry skin. Mud. So, back for more, are you? Hey, want some more of this, do you? Uh, you don't know who you're messing with. Uh, oh. oh, yes, we do. Some very hot and dry hippos. But don't worry, we're going to fix that. Yeah, that's oh, nice. oh. oh, lovely mud. Everyone feel better? Oh, yeah. Thanks for the mud. You're welcome, mateys. Now, the next time you see me, don't go chasing me around like that. Sorry, we don't usually like strangers on our turf, but I guess you guys are all right. So, how about we return the favor and cool you off? Yeah. <laughs> 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 